Hi, I'm Chef Bob at 130 South. I'm the executive chef. We're going to be preparing a stuffed chili and sea bass with uh, Parmesan spinach. Uh, let's get started. First step is to take our chili and sea bass, bass, which is about a nine ounce portion. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a pocket in the center of the sea bass. Uh, enough so that the desired amount of stuffing goes in. You can see it goes clear through to the middle. And what we're going to do now is prepare the stuffing. The first step in preparing the stuffing is the pan needs to be hot. We're going to place the pan on medium high heat and we're going to make sure the pan gets nice and warm. The next step is to actually add a little bit of the oil into the pan. The oil goes into the pan and then what we're going to do is we're going to saute the spinach long enough to wilt it and to give it some flavor. So the pan looks to be nice and hot. We're going to add the spinach to the pan. You might be able to hear that. We're going to saute the spinach just enough so it wilts. Now the spinach doesn't have a lot of flavor on its own. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and you can see the spinach wilting. When it's not turned to mush or very, too very soft, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it off the fire and we're going to add, fold in the um, Parmesan cheese. While it's still hot, we're going to fold in the cheese. Now you may want to control the amount of cheese you want. I like a little bit more because it seems to add a lot of flavor. Be careful not to put any salt in here because Parmesan cheese tends to be salty. I'm going to add a little bit of crushed black pepper. That's our stuffing. The next thing to do is to cool it to room temperature and we'll sear the fish. The next step is to take the fish that we've cut our pocket into and stuff it with our spinach. The spinach is complete. It has everything we need in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to place it in the middle of the pocket. Make sure it stays in. It should be cool enough to work with. Then we're going to take our prosciutto, which is actually an imported Parma ham, and we're going to wrap it. And what I like to do is give the fish a little bit of flavor with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to sear it. Okay, now we're going to place our pan on the fire, making sure that the pan is hot. If the pan is not hot, the fish will stick and it'll ruin the outside flesh. We're going to take the fish and place it side down in a hot pan. I would cook it on either side for about 30 seconds each. After the fish is evenly seared on both sides, we're going to take the fish and place it in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes, depending on the thickness of the filet. The next step is to prepare the pan sauce for the fish. We've taken the fish out of the oven, which has been done, and we're going to take the pan, which has the flavor of the fish in the, in the pan. We're going to take that, we're going to heat it, and we're going to add some ingredients to make a pan sauce. The first ingredient is shallots. The shallots go in the pan, they get sauteed until they're opaque. Opaque means clear. We're going to add a little white wine to that. The white wine is going to deglaze the pan, which is going to raise all the flavor of the fish into the pan to the sauce. We're going to take a little bit of lemon, and we're going to add the lemon. We're going to add the lemon to the sauce. Next, we're going to take our butter and just add some butter. And what the butter is going to do, it's going to add a little richness and body. After the butter has been completely absorbed, we're going to finish it with a little bit of parsley and the flavor.